Fabian Picardo chose to start his address on the subject of an EU treaty, making reference to Keith Asobali's accusations that he's failed on this, having negotiated for the past seven years. Mr. Picardo said the negotiations, the most complex ever, have been taking place over 24 months, questioning what else Mr. Asobali could have been dishonest about if he was dishonest on something like this. And he was keen to put across his view that a new team could not just slot into his place. Yes, he said, he told the El País newspaper the deal was 0.01% away, but said the reality was nothing is agreed until everything is agreed, and that negotiating with Spain means everything can change at the last minute. If the Pepe were to get into power, he said, everything could be reset. And if there's a new team in Gibraltar, this too could reset everything. Do you really think that what you want to do next Friday is wake up to a new negotiating team on the most complex negotiation that Gibraltar has been involved in in its history? We are on the cusp of achieving something very, very special. We could stay on the cusp of it forever, or we could fall off the cusp of it. Or we can drive this home to a conclusion in the knowledge that the people you're going to put back to negotiate for you are the people who have been involved from the word go and who understand that the New Year's Eve framework agreement is the paradigm upon which the treaty is built, that there isn't a New Year's Eve framework agreement and a UK-EU negotiation if there isn't a tax treaty, and that none of the things which the leader of the opposition has told you are bad and should not have been done and he would undo are actually the foundations of this negotiation. So knowing that, if you didn't quite know what to do next week, can I ask you not to follow my advice, but to reflect on what you think is the best choice for your family, for your business, for your nation, and for yourselves before you cast your vote. On tenders, he said his government had been successful in ensuring the land of the people of Gibraltar was never sold at under market value and had secured the best deal. He added that GSD, who say tenders are awarded to entities who didn't bid, would have let the land go to low bidders and shortchanged the taxpayer. They cannot be trusted, he said, not to drop the ball. Political representation in the next lineup of the